Hey, how you doing, mate? So let's get started. Uh, we have a question right here. They say uh, determine whether the function we have a step function. Uh, the amount of the function f x one minus x squared, just like how we see, is continuous or discontinuous x equal to and explain why. So we have the condition for continuous and discontinuous. Okay. So condition say just remember, a function it can be continuous if the domain if f b is defined. Or in another word, b is domain of fx, and also the function max exists. If it does exist, yes. And how the function is going to exist? Left hand side limit equal to right hand side limit. These are condition for continuous function. The last, okay. Now f x equal to b, and then this it must be equal to that. Okay. So if they say right, you can just write this information. But for now, so we have to solve it and see if it does exist and. And now we can conclude. Now let's go. So now, what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna have to find the limit. Okay, let me get the limit face. So I'm gonna start with the limit face. Okay, now. So I can either draw the graph if I want. It's not decided, but uh, let me do both. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say now. Let me start with the limit. Limit x x approach to one. X at two means x approach equal to two. So limit x approach to 2 okay we want to check if it exists so for what of f of x okay we want to check if it does exist so let me start from the right so if you start from the right this let me say so this let me say uh so this let me say limit x approach equal to 2 but from the right if you come here careful look which one from the right here? If you look careful. If you say x less than 2, what does that mean? And x is greater than 2. What is that from the right? Okay? So we know for facts the one from the right is this. Because if you approach 2 from the right, means it's, you're going to start from 3, 4, 5, 6. means you approach 2, 2. But from the left, you approach 2 means, look here, 2. If any number less than 2 means it's going to be 1, 0. Negative one, negative two means this is your approach two from the left. But when you say x is greater or equal to two means what that means three, four, five, six. So this is a number that you approach two from the right. So approach two from the right means we're gonna take what this function x square minus two for what for x square minus two. So what does that mean? That mean I can plug it in that value right there. So x equal to two plug is gonna be. 2 square root 4, so it's going to be 4. Excuse me, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, it's going to be 4. 4, you put here 4, it's going to be 4 minus 2, which you got 2. Oh, so limit uh, f of x, x approach 2 from the right, equal to 2. So we want to do the same thing, limit approach to 2 from the left and see what we're going to get. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm gonna say. So now we're gonna say. Okay. So we're gonna say limit. But now from the left, you say we're gonna have to use this one because approach two from the left. Okay. So we say limit. Limit. X approach two from the left, but of f of x. So which part you're gonna take? You're gonna take this because approach 2 from the left means it's going to be 1 minus x squared just like how I explained prior so 1 minus x squared so this let me say uh, 1 minus x squared okay oh I made a mistake excuse me here my apology this is not right here you know why it's not right because this has to be 2x. It's not x squared. So this must be 2x. So this is going to be 4 minus 2. 2 times 2. Okay, so 4 minus 4 equal to 0. So this is going to give us what? 0. I made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? My apology. So this is going to give us what? And 0. Okay, this is going to give us 0 and not 2. Okay, so the answer should be 0. My apology. Just say small error. We correct it. Okay, now. So now we say the one approach two from the left. Look, your approach two from the left means this is a number. Your two 
But uh, what is x less than 2 makes 1, 0, negative 1. So this is the number that you approach these two from the left. Because look, just like I explained here. So now we're going to say, so 1, so we're going to say 1 minus, you put 2 square here. 2 square equal to 4. So this equal to negative 3. Oh, so limit f of x x approach 2 from the left equal to negative 3. So what do you see here? Limit from the left is not equal to limit from the right. Okay, so limit from the left is not equal to the limit from the right. So for that case, the limit x approach 2 from the right is of f of x is not equal to limit f of x, x approach 2 from the left. You know what I'm saying? Or in other way, you can say... Um, Negative 3 is not equal to the first one to go 0. Okay, so for that case, that's a that is one of the reasons you could say is not continuous because for continuity, for continuity means the limit from the left must be equal to the limit from the right. You know what I'm saying? So for that case, I can you know confidently conclude and say uh no the function is not continuous because when you come back here to the question they say uh f of x show that it is continuous or it's not continuous at x equal to 2 that's why i did limit x equal to 2 and sketch the graph so show that so you know what i'm saying so for that case no it's not continuous an explanation because so no so now we say f of x whereby limit x approach equal to 2 you know, you know, how you gonna say, does not exist, doesn't exist, you know what I'm saying, does not exist, you know what I'm saying, what do what, what I mean, because there's a condition uh, which has not met, the condition, which condition, we know the condition of a limit does, is not met, which condition there, because you know, limit on left, limit on left hand side, you must be equal to the limit of right hand side, but I did is not equal. So for that case, is not is it? It is continuous. It's continuous. It's continuous. Just can you continuous uh, x equal to two? You know what I'm saying? So for that case, oh yes, the graph did not uh, the function. It did not continue x or two. So now let's draw the graph. Because if you come here to the question, the easy question, this is case the graph of function. Which function? This one right here. So to draw a graph is very, very easy. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very easy. Okay? So how are we going to draw? Okay. Let's draw a graph. So drawing a graph, I can use table value. It's not necessary, but table value is going to make you laugh easily. Okay, or if you don't want, it's fine. So now, oh, sorry. So now I'm gonna say, let's draw a table value. So I'm gonna say, okay, let's draw a table value. So we have here, the face one is one minus x, x squared. So this is the value of x, and y is one minus x squared. For the face, what? Step function, you know what I'm saying? For the face step function. Now we go. What the value of x? When x, they say x is less or equal to two, means uh, less or equal to two. So I'd rather start from this side, like saying, 2, 1, because less than 2, 0, negative 1, negative 2. I'm not going to do a lot, just some. We know this is quadratic. So now we go. When x equal to 2, what happened? It's going to be 1 minus 2 times 2 equal to 4. 1 minus 4 equal to negative 3. Okay, now we go. So this is going to be 1. 1 square equal to 1. 1 minus 1 equal to 0. 0. It's going to be 1. Okay, now we come here, put negative 1 square equal to 1. 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Now this is going to be 4. So 1 minus 4 equal to uh, negative 3. Now negative 3 is equal to 9. 1 minus 9 equal to uh, negative 80. Okay, negative 15. Oh, okay. So we have the graph of the face of parabolic. Okay, which is 1 minus x squared. Because f of x is part of the step function. Now let's do uh, the table value of the second one, step function. You know what I'm saying? So now we go, this is x, and what the value of y? x squared minus 2x. x squared minus 2, x. You know what I'm saying? x squared minus 2, x right there. x squared minus 2x. 
So this is going to be x squared minus 2x, okay? Okay, now we go. So where does it start? It starts from 2, greater than 2. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's no stopping point, so you can just write it sound, whatever you got. So now we say, okay, plug in 2 here. So when you plug it to 2, 2 squared equals 4, minus 2 squared equals 4, so equals 0. Now, 3, 9. And this is going to be 6. 9 minus 6 equal to 3. Now we come here. 16, 16 minus 8 equal to 80. Now this is going to be 25. 25 minus 10 equal to 15. 36 minus 12 equal to uh, 36 minus 12, 24. Okay, etc. etc. I don't have to write all of them, but I think you got what I'm saying. So now the next thing is we can draw the graph out of it. So, so let's come and draw a Cartesian plane right here. Okay. We got all the coordinates. You know what I'm saying? So now we start, now you gotta be very, very careful face. You need to know the starting point. This x greater or equal to two means that this is gonna include it. You know what I'm saying? Two is gonna include it. So we say, oh, so two at two means this is gonna include. When x equal to two, y equal to negative three. Oh, when x equal to two, let's say one, two, two, y equal to negative three, negative one, negative two, negative three, somewhere here. But it's gonna include. You know what I'm saying? Because this sign means including when there are two. But if it's single like here, it's excluding. Now we go. One and zero. One and zero. Zero and one. Zero and one. Y one. Okay. Negative one and zero. Negative one and zero. X negative one. Y equal to zero. Okay, now we go. Two and negative three. Two and negative three. Two and negative three. Let's see somewhere here. So we see this graph is gonna concave like this. Rough sketch. You know what I'm saying? It just go like that. Now, let's draw for a second one. So for a second one, we know this is gonna concave upward because this is positive, the x squared is positive. Concave upward, quadratic. Now, so which point you start with? The point you start with x equal to two, but excluding. You know what I'm saying? x equal to two, excluding. So you gotta look at your starting points. x equal to two, excluding. Oh, x equal to two, y equal to zero. So this is gonna be the point here. Excluding means you draw small cycle. But if we're including for the face on the see we draw solid cycle because it was including, you know what I'm saying? So now we go when uh, uh, x equal to 3, y equal to 3. So this 3, and let's say this is 1, 2, 3, rough as cage, you know what I'm saying? Now we go 480, so it's 4 and 80. It's somewhere there, 515. So this graph, remember, is quadratic, so it's going to be parabolic, something like this. It's not in scale, man, you know what I'm saying? But we know it's gonna be something like this. Sorry, sorry, it's not in scale. Uh, say three and three. One, two, three, three. Four and eighty. Four less than eighty. So it's like this. It's like, so, so it's not in scale, but you gotta be like parabolic like this. So it's not, it's not so good because it's not scale, it's something like this. Know what I'm saying? Parabolic. Okay, now we go. Remember here, it gotta be empty inside because it was excluding here. Okay, so now we come here now. So we already sketched the graph, you know what I'm saying? And we can prove again using a graph to find our limit from the graph here. They say, show if the graph is continuous. No, the graph is not continuous. You can see here because at x equal to 2, you see, this graph is kind of come under and this is on top. So it's kind of disjoint to one another. The only condition this graph could be continuous if this graph was gonna start from here, here also. Maybe go like that. They'll say yes, the graph continues. So for this case, the one, the, like if it had to be continuous, maybe it was gonna start from here, or maybe start from like even go now, either way. But uh, you see, it came here and then this is disjoint. So it discontinuous. Come on, you don't know continuous meaning? Means whatever you stop is where you gotta continue. So no, it discontinuous. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because for this quadratic, the one which is concave downward, which is the face one, when x equal to two, you know what I'm saying? When x equal to two, excuse me, I'll two, two here. When x equal to two, what did it give us? It gave us negative what? Negative three. See what I'm saying? But at this one, when x equal to two, it gave us what? Zero. So can't you see? See here, when x equal to two, for this graph here, it gave us what? negative three but here when x equal to two it give us what uh, zero y equal to zero but here y equal to negative three so limit you know what i'm saying uh f of x when x approach to two from the right 
What is that from the right? Look, for two from the right, give us y equal to zero. Look, give us y equal to zero. While f of x limit, just normally say limit here, limit. My apology, x approach equal to two from the left. Look, you approach two from the left. What do you get? Because look, it means you approach, you go and bump this graph of this, which is this one. And which value does it give us? It gives us negative three. So zero is not equal to negative three. So for that case, if the limit on the left hand side is not equal to the limit of right hand side, means for that case, say it again. Means if this is not equal to this, you know, because this is equal to zero, it means this is not equal to that one. Let me get another pen. Excuse me. So for that case, we say, sorry, because for the limit to exist means the limit, okay, let me write here, limit of f of x, x approach to two, to exist, for this to exist means limit on left hand side, means from the left, it must be equal to limit from the right. But for this case, since this is not equal to this, means this doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? And another thing is we know this is gonna be discontinuously because for the function to be continuously, meaning this is one of the conditions for continuously means it, it must exist. So since f of x limit, uh, since, my apologies, <laughs> Uh, limit x approach equal to uh, 2 f of x it doesn't exist means for that case the function is discontinuous function discontinuous man continuous hey hey and you have seen the graph too man this function I mean, you can see is the join baby this one start from there this one come here if it had to be continuous if it was going to start from here and one must be including and one must be this like either both must be including like if this was including and the other one also including is fine but if this is excluding and this is excluding still is not continuous you know what i'm saying or in other way let me say this no no that makes sense so same thing okay if this let's say graph come here and then it's also Okay, like this one. If let's say come and then exclude here, it, it is continuous because this one is including. But if both excluding, let's say this one come excluding and this one come also is excluding, then it does not continue because it's empty. So either one of them must be included or both of them must be included. Or either one must be included, one excluding. But if both of them are excluding, even if in the same coordinate, still it is continuous. You know what I'm saying? So thanks a lot for your time, man. I hope you learn for how I do things in my methodology. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate, man. You know, like I say, you know, we do this in a project to motivate a lot of people, and I truly appreciate your praise and your donation. Means I'm Hamish. You know, it's a lot of people who are new here in this channel. You know, in this program. Okay. So if you face time, right here these intellectual things, intellectual property, come right here, right here, see here, subscribe and leave a comment, I'm going to be more than happy to help you, another thing is again, again, I want to say thanks so much for all the people who donated to me, who donated, it means a lot, it's a lot of money you guys are saying to me, it means a lot, because you know, you know I got a lot of projects that we're doing, feeding the, uh, the people, homeless people, motivates all, taking all these kids from the street, and we their dream to reality. So thanks a lot of all your donation means a lot. Look at uh, uh, most of South Sahara. If I uh, give example, for example, South Africa, a lot of students they have a problem with mathematics. So mathematics and science. And you know, for the world we live in, we need a lot of people who do uh, science and research because of the things like we're facing right now this year, 2020 like Corona and stuff, and people that have a shortage of doctors, they have a shortage of engineers and stuff. And even other causes too, but my main focus is uh, engineers.
uh, science, math, and computer programming and coding like Java, C sharp, and PHP, and JavaScript. So this is going to be the main focus. So now we're going to drop the app that is soon. So you can uh, we're going to put like a subscription fees, which is very reasonable, where you can access all the material. So we're going to have the courses, courses where you can uh, purchase the course. You know what I'm saying? But of course, this is for free, and most of the material here is very accessible. Same with this, but it's like some of the course is going to be for free, and some of the course depends which type of course. But our main focus is to save a lot of people, save the people from uh, various place like uh, uh, corporate, uh, corporate. You know what I'm saying? The corporate wars. So save a lot of people, and also going to be traveling, go to various place. So 2020, I'm going to travel to a lot of countries. You know what I'm saying? I got invitation. A lot of countries, man. You know what I'm saying? So you will see me in your town, in your village. You know, I'm gonna go. I'm a village boy, so you know, I'm gonna go to a village and go see another place, saving a lot of kids, share with them, teach them knowledge, and that I can change their life. Okay? That can bring change to our society. Okay? You know what I'm saying? So Pamunja Milali Academy, the app is gonna drop very very soon. You know what I'm saying? I got a big team. Stay tuned. I'm gonna announce when the app is gonna be dropped. I believe that most of the people have a smartphone, so. Get, I don't want to say a lot, you're going to see, so thanks a lot for your time.